Hi, yogis. My name is Ali Owens, and today we're going to be talking about the Muladhara, or the first root chakra. And this chakra has everything to do with your stability, with your structure, with your roots and your foundation. Uh, this chakra is really the, the beginning of this series, and we're going to start with a lot of foundational postures to get you grounded into your practice, and also talk about the foundational breath, which is the ujjayi, or ocean-sounding breath. So we're going to get started at the top of our mats in Tadasana. So go ahead and come to the tops of your mat. Bring your feet hips within distance. So make sure your feet are pretty much underneath your hips. Go ahead and close your eyes and perhaps flip your palms forward towards the front of your mat. And then go ahead and inhale, reach your shoulders up by your ears. And then exhale, draw your shoulder blades down your back. And then first, just establishing the breath. And the ujjayi breath is different than your normal breathing cycle in the sense that there's intention behind this breath. I'm going to start to feel the inhales glide in through the back of the throat as it makes a soft whispering noise. And then as you exhale, it's going to glide back out through your nose. And as much as possible, you want to try to even out the inhale with the exhale. And then starting at the feet, this chakra governs not only just the base of your spine, which is where it's located, but it also governs the hips, the knees, the ankles, and the feet. So feeling the toes fan wide, maybe you start to lift the toes up off the floor. Good. And you're going to ever so gently rock your weight forward towards the top of your feet. And then ever so gently rock your weight towards your heels. And keep your eyes closed here as you do this. So you're going to rock the weight forward and then rock the weight back. Good. Just starting to find that middle ground and also that lift of the arch of your foot. And then go ahead and start to rock towards the right foot. And start to rock towards the left. And do that a few times. And try to keep the toes lifted. The mound of the big toe planted on the floor. As you start to kind of find that middle ground between the front and the back and the right and the left. Good. And then find some stillness. And a lot of times in this practice, you hear ground down through the four corners of your feet. That's the mound of the big toe, the pinky side edge of your foot, and then that arch or that U-shape that kind of frames your heels. There's two points there that ground the bones of the feet, the structure of the feet into the floor as the energy rises up by lifting the arches of your feet. There might be a slight bend in your knees. As the front of the thighs lift up, the quadriceps engage, and the tailbone draws towards your heels. The low belly lifts in and up. You can start to feel that breath have that nice effect of expanding the chest and then exhaling, grounding you down towards the feet. Take one more deep breath. Gently blink your eyes open. And then inhale, reach your arms forward and up. And then exhale, just bring your hands down to your heart. Good. Bring your hands back by your sides. Reach your hands out and up. And then exhale your hands to your heart. 
And then choose which one works for you. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. So you're starting to attach that movement with breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. This time, reach your hands all the way up. Good. And then exhale, take a forward fold. Fold all the way over your thighs and bend your knees. Let the head hang here. So, so much about this chakra is really about letting go. It's really about letting that waste, that elimination of what's no longer serving you, filter down into the floor and giving that back into Mother Earth. The color for this chakra is red, symbolizing that nice earthy quality that you have to really the soil of your practice. And then go ahead and take an inhale. Lengthen your spine and come into Ardha Uttanasana. Bring your hands to your shins. Good. Start to feel the quadriceps lift. The tailbone draws slightly down, so the sitting bones draw towards your heels to lift the low belly and extend the sides of your waist. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Take a forward fold. Good. Find a slight bend in your knees. Bring your hands to your hips. Come all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up overhead as you inhale, and then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And so a few of those half sun salutes. Take an inhale, reach your arms up overhead, and then exhale, forward fold, emptying out the breath at the bottom as you drop the crown of your head down. Inhale to lengthen your spine, continue to lift the arches of your feet, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Glide your breath all the way up. And then exhale, hands to heart. Feel that energy rise up your legs. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise, palms touch. And then exhale your hands to your heart. This next one will be different. You can inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Soften the jaw, inhale. Plant your palms, step back to plank pose. So in yoga, we use our arms, we use our hands quite a bit. And just as much as our feet root us down into the floor, in some arm balances and inversions and all the time through this vinyasa, our palms are planting us down into the earth. So feel as though there was a chakra, right? There's an actual, there's a bandha in your hand, right? That's rooting you down into the floor. And as the inner palm becomes heavy, as the fingers fan wide, the triceps, the back of the arm bones are going to wrap towards your toes to lengthen the sides of your waist forward like Ardha Uttanasana, lifting the belly, drawing the tailbone towards your heels here, and engaging the front of your thighs. I know this is challenging. Just keep breathing. Inhale, use your belly, downward facing dog, lift the hips up and back. Nice. So also one of those poses that takes a little while to warm up to. So much of this chakra is about your tribe or about where you come from, your sense of home. Good. Continue to wrap those triceps back. Make sure those heels are disappearing behind your toes. Take an inhale, float forward to plank pose. Shoulders stay away from those ears. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Pull the energy back into those legs. Take some weight out of the wrists. Take an inhale, float forward to plank. And then we're all going to lower our knees down to the ground. Good. So this is a great way to modify. Wrap your triceps back. Pull your heart space forward through the space between your arms. Continue to find a straight line of energy from your shoulders to your hips to your knees. Lift the frontal hip bones up and then lower down halfway. Shoulders right at the height of your elbows. Pause. Hug those elbows in. Feel the inner palms become heavy. Come forward into the hands a little bit more. Come back up. Oh, 
See how your hands are a little further forward? Walk your hands back. Good. Downward facing dog. So you want that 90 degree bend in your elbows when you come into Chaturanga. And to be aware, to be honest as to where that is in your practice today. Inhale, float forward to plank. So knees lifted or knees lower. Reach your heart forward. Lower down halfway, Chaturanga. Beautiful, Nika. Inhale, back up to plank. Downward facing dog. Inhale, float forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, hold. Hips lower slightly. All the way down to the ground. Release the tops of the feet onto the floor. And then inhale, cobra pose. Coil your chest forward and up. And then exhale, the heart back down. Good. Lengthen through your toes. Take an inhale, cobra pose. Engage those thighs as you press the pubic bone down. Exhale, the forehead down. Last one. Inhale, cobra. Just something to open up the shoulders. Draw them down your back. And then exhale, the forehead back down. So knees bent or toes tuck. Press back up into plank pose, moving through chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. So that vinyasa can be very challenging. And to have that honesty, to have that integrity, this chakra is all about honor. It's all about loyalty to your tribe and having that sense of security in your practice to really setting that foundation. Inhale, look forward. Come up high onto your toes, bend your knees, and step to the top of your mat. Good. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine, and then an exhale to fold. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, palms touch, and bring your hands to your heart. So we're going to put that together with the breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Keep the length as you plant your palms and step back to plank pose. Take an inhale at the top. Find some length through your spine. And then exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Or if you'd like, you can flip to your feet and come into upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Hips up and back. And so these yogis have been practicing for a while. If you want to stick to that cobra, stick to that cobra series. Inhale, lift your right foot towards the sky, and because it feels good, just open your hip, bend your right knee high. Exhale, drop your right foot down next to the left. Inhale, reach your left foot towards the sky, open your hip, bend your left knee. Firm through your hands, lengthen your right side body. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right foot up to a three-limb down dog. Right foot is right at the height of your hip. Flex your right ankle and roll your right inner thigh up and even your right hip with the left. Keep your hips square, 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 square. Square, square, square. Oh, yes. Draw your right knee towards your nose. Tiger's pose. Float forward into your palms and dome the upper chest. Feel the belly work here. Inhale, back into a three-limb down dog. Float forward to plank pose. Oh, keep that right foot lifted. You can stay here. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, back up to plank. Downward facing dog. Right foot next to left. Nicely done. Inhale, reach your left foot up. Inner left thigh reaches. Exhale, left knee to nose, tiger's pose. Mm -hmm. Inhale, the left foot up and back. Keep the left foot lifted. Float forward to plank. Triceps roll back. Either stay here or lower down halfway chaturanga. Press back up into plank. Downward facing dog. Left foot next to right. Are we sweating already? <laughs> Take an inhale. Look forward. Come up high on your toes. Bend your knees. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Good. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, arms rise to the sky, palms touch. Hands to heart, samastitihi. Bend your knees, utkatasana, chair pose. Good, so as you sit down into this chair pose, place the feet down evenly into the floor. 
Feel the weight draw back towards your heels. So anytime your knees are bent, the weight is coming into the heels. When your legs are straight, the weight can rock forward. Feel the tailbone drop, the low belly lift. Give your shoulders some space, yes. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart lengthens, lengthen your spine. Plant your palms, step back to plank pose. And complete the exhale, lowering chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog, hips up and back. Nicely done. Inhale, look forward, come up high on your toes, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, fold, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Come to stand, hands to heart, Samastatihi. Little different, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, step your left foot back into a high lunge and hold. Good. Right knee is right over your right ankle. The right knee is tracking over the second and third toe. The outer hips are hugging in. And feel your feet firm down into the floor. Lift the low belly up as you lengthen your spine and draw your tailbone towards that left heel. Downward facing dog, right foot next to left. Inhale, glide forward to plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog, thighs lift. Down dog, hips up and back. Right foot rises, inhale. Right foot steps forward, exhale. Low lunge, just lengthen your heart forward. Lengthen that back thigh. Step forward to the top of your mat. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Tailbone to heels, come to stand, hands to heart, Samastatihi. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Step your left foot back to that high lunge. Scissor the inner thighs. Feel the belly draw in and up. Downward facing dog, right foot next to left. Inhale, float forward to plank. Keep the thighs lifted as you exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Stand into those hands. Down dog, hips up and back. Left foot rises as you inhale. Inner thigh lift, square those hips. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Lengthen your spine as you pull that right heel back. Step forward to the top of your mat. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Draw the belly in as you come to stand, hands to heart, Samastatihi. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, plant your palms, hop back to Chaturanga, bent elbows. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Right foot rises, inhale. Right foot steps forward, back foot spins flat, heel to arch alignment, front heel to back arch alignment. Open up into warrior two. And we're gonna be here for about five to 10 breaths, depending on the depth of your ujjayi breathing. So close your eyes. And just visualize the base of your spine. Bring your brain into your body and start to bridge the gap between your mind and your heart. And feel that outer right knee hug back. Wrap that right hip underneath you. As you press through the outside edge of your left foot and lift your left arch here, can you engage that left quad and lengthen the inner thigh? Feel the belly draw back, the shoulders down your back. And just notice the sensations of your breath. Nicely done. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Step the right foot back to meet your left. And you can take a vinyasa or glide straight back to downward facing dog. 
Inhale, the left foot rises. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Back foot spins flat. Warrior two, open up. Good, so in warrior two, the left heel is intersecting that right arch. That right heel is slightly closer to the back of your mat so that you can roll that right inner thigh back and hug that left hip in and underneath you, gliding the inner left knee forward and the outer left knee back. All four sides of your torso are long, side to side, front to back. The shoulders are square towards the right side of your mat. Close your eyes and come into that expansiveness in your breath. So the breath is the foundation of your practice. It's the thing that helps you to center and calm your mind. And similar to this chakra system, you have to have a foundation, a base on which to really work up. This is where we hold our core beliefs, our core values, the things that set our laws and standards in our lives. Maybe you come and ask yourself on a really important question, what standards, what laws do I have currently in my life that are no longer working for me? Am I open to the process of change? Am I open to that development of seeing myself grow and step forward into a new tribe? Am I content with where I am? That's okay too. But just to become aware is what this whole system, what this whole practice is about. Take a breath. And then exhale, hands down to the floor. Step back, vinyasa. Hands back to your feet. Take the peace fingers of your hands, grab your big toes, take an inhale to lengthen, and an exhale to fold. I like to find a slight bend in my knees. I tend to hyperlock my knees, so it really helps to relieve the lower back. Let any tension go out of the jaw, out of the face. Maybe you close your eyes. And just imagine, if you're familiar with the values, the, the pranayamas, right? The value is apana the letting go, the rooting down through the thighs, out through the soles of your feet. And then go ahead and release your toes. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and then exhale, come back into downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right foot to the sky. Draw your right knee towards your nose, tiger's pose. Inhale, the right foot up and back. Step your right foot forward. Crescent pose, slight bend in your back knee. Reach your arms forward and up. Good, stacking the shoulders on top of your hips. Feel the frontal hip bones lift. You might need to bend your back knee slightly. Good, run your arms down along your sides and create this aerodynamic shape in your body as you reach your chest forward. So it's like that low lunge without the support of your hands. Now you really have to use the strength of your legs. Good, take a deep breath here. And then exhale the left hand to the floor, reach your right arm towards the sky and start to twist. So in these twists, nothing changes. The base, the lower half of the body stays the same, but the upper half of the body starts to revolve. It starts to twist. Keep that right hand right over your right shoulder. Take one more breath, and then exhale that right hand to the floor. Step forward to the top of your mat. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Come to stand, hands to heart, Samastatihi. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. Step or lightly hop back. Inhale, open up. Down dog, hips up and back. Inhale, reach your left foot to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, tiger's pose. Inhale, the left foot reaches back. Exhale, step forward in between your hands. Slight bend in your back knee, crescent pose, hands forward and up. 
Soften the space between your eyebrows, parch your teeth, let the ears drip down into the floor. Feel that energy rise up your spine to get inhale. And then exhale, hands by your hips, chest to thigh. Good. See if you can wake up the thighs. Maybe even lift the toes of the front foot here. Oh. Lift Mula Bandha, pelvic floor up. Right hand down, left hand rises. Inhale and start to twist. Find your exhale. Sometimes we're so good at inhaling, but we don't really focus on that exhale, that grounding action, that releasing, that letting go. Take a deep breath. And then exhale that left hand to the floor. Step forward to the top of your mat. Bend your knees, chair pose. Come to stand, hands to heart. Samastatihi. Good. So we're going to come into a balancing pose, rikshasana tree pose. So go ahead and stand on your right foot and draw your left knee in towards your chest. Good. So you're either going to bring the sole of the foot to your calf or to your inner thigh. And bring your palms to your heart center. Broaden across the collarbones. Draw the shoulder blades down your back. Lift the low belly in and up. And see if you can lift your back ribs up off your kidneys and breathe into your back body a little bit more. And there's actually a chakra that lies below your foot. And the color for that one is brown. And it's the gravity pull. It's that energy source that keeps you connected to this earth. So as you feel that right foot ground down into the floor, feel that energy rise up the leg and reconnect with the base of your spine as you draw the belly in and up and open up the crown of your head. Maybe the arms rise. Annie's already there. <laughs> Maybe you close your eyes. So having that trust, right? Take one more breath. And then exhale your hands to your heart. And draw that left knee in towards center. And set the left foot down next to the right. Refirm your foundation. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Sole the right foot to the inner left calf or to the inner thigh. Bring your hands to your heart. Hug that right hip underneath you here. Feel the sides of your waist grow tall. Maybe your arms reach towards the sky. Maybe your gaze goes up. So, so much of this chakra also has to do with your survival needs and getting your survival needs met. Right? The basics of what you need to live here on planet Earth. So you can imagine the greatest fear for this chakra is abandonment, to not having that nurturing, that loving, caring, supportive community, that tribe into which you came. So noticing where those imbalances might lie in the body and where you can restore that balance and find that strength from within. Bring your hands to your heart. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Set the right foot down next to your left. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back to plank pose. And lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, open up. Down dog, hips up and back. Inhale, lift your right foot to the sky. Good. Step your right foot forward in between your hands and set up for warrior one. Spin your back foot flat. Line up heel to heel alignment and reach your hands forward. And up. Good. Draw that left inner thigh back. Hug that right hip in and roll that right inner thigh down. Front knees tracking right over the second and third toe. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Hands down to the floor. Step back to plank pose. And either move through a vinyasa or go straight to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, left foot rises towards the sky. 
Exhale, left foot steps forward. Back foot spins flat, heel to heel alignment. Reach the hands forward and up. Hips are square towards the front of your mat. Floating ribs dissolve back. Lift the frontal hip bones. And then exhale your hands down to the floor. Step back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, open up. Downward dog, hips up and back. Float forward to plank pose close as you inhale. Good. You're going to bring your feet closer together and center your left hand in front of your face. Good. You might choose to place that left knee down on the floor right underneath your left hip or roll to the outer edge of your left foot and reach your right arm towards the sky for Vashistasana. Good. So this knee down is a really great opportunity to find more support in this structure. Each of these shapes has its foundation, making sure that left hand is right underneath your left shoulder. So look down at your hand. Notice this. Yes. And then pull this back and reach this up. Yeah, that'll support your shoulder. Take a deep breath. Right hand down. And then switch to the opposite side. Center your right hand, roll to the outer edge of your right foot, and reach your left arm up. Good. Drawing the belly back, feeling that inner right palm become heavy on the floor, gripping into the fingertips. So like you have all four corners of your feet, I want you to find the entirety of your right palm. Broaden across your chest as you lift that left arm higher, and then exhale that left hand to the ground, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Let's just drop into child's pose for just a breath. So knowing that this is always an option for you to feel the third eye space, right? Your forehead pressed down into the mat. To come back to the ujjayi or the ocean sounding breath, if perhaps you lost it by moving through some of these stronger structures. These are warrior poses. They really help to build heat and to establish strength in the body. Come back into downward facing dog. Reach your right foot to the sky, inhale. Step your right foot forward, exhale. Warrior one. Bring your hands to your heart. Straighten your right leg. Turn your right toes in and turn your left toes to the back of your mat. Find heel to arch alignment in your feet. Bend your left knee, warrior two. Hug that left hip in and underneath you. Mm -hmm. Reverse your warrior, reach up and back, straighten out your left leg as you do. Stretch through the left side body, come into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Left hand forward, right outside of the left foot. So I encourage you to use a prop to use your blocks as you reach that right arm up. Feel that strengthening up the front of the left thigh as you broaden across your chest. Press through the outside edge of your back foot. Good. Look down at your left foot. Bend your left knee. Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. Stack your right hip on top of your left just like Vashistasana. Flex that right foot. Find the support in your standing leg. Feel grounded through that foot as you broaden across your chest and you open up. Take a deep breath here and then exhale that right hand down to the floor. Drop your right foot down next to your left. You're gonna step your left foot back to a high lunge. Yes. Scissor the inner thighs, draw the low belly in and up. Option to keep that left knee lifted or drop that left knee down to the ground. Good, take a deep breath. You're gonna straighten your front thigh and start to fold over that front leg. You can bring your hands to blocks if you need a little bit more support. Rebend your right knee. Exhale, start to fold as you straighten that right thigh back. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale. 
Good, inhale, float forward. Plant your palms, step back to plank pose. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot, reach your right arm towards the sky. You might find Vrikshasana tree pose. Take a deep breath. And then exhale that right hand to the floor. Downward facing dog, right foot next to left. Inhale, reach your left foot to the sky. Step your left foot forward between your hands. Walk your hands in between your feet. Come into Prasarita Padottanasana. Uh, feet are pretty wide. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. So the feet are parallel with one another. Drop the crown of your head down. Walk your hands in between your feet so you create that 90 degree bend in your elbows. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Feel the energy rise up your thighs. Yes. Good. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine. Good. Bring your hands to your hips. Find a slight bend in your knees as you firm the thighs and come all the way up to stand. Yes. Turn towards the front of your mat and step forward into Tadasana. Hands to heart center. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back or hop back to Chaturanga. Inhale, open up. Down dog, hips up and back. Inhale, left foot rises. Exhale, left foot steps forward in between your hands. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, hands to your heart, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in and turn your right toes to the back of the room. Find warrior two, bend your right knee, open your arms out wide. Discover the structure in this pose, the stability, the strength in your legs. Reverse your warrior, reach up and back, start to straighten your right leg as you do. Exhale, tree konasana, triangle pose, right fingertips pull forward as you reach your left hand towards the sky. And start to notice, maybe look down at your legs, look if you're hyperlocking and start to find that slight bend, then calf towards shin. Because like, I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> Lift that right quad. And it's so important, especially if you come from a broken home, you know, I come from a divorced family, to really know where those upsets, right? And that basic kind of nurturing ground of your life took place and where you can reconcile, where you can find balance in those imbalances is so important. Inhale, look forward, bend your right knee, Ardha Chandrasana. Good. Flexing that left foot, strengthening that right thigh. softening any tension around your face. And noticing when you come up to something confronting, how do you react? Can you take a step back and become the observer in your practice? Exhale, left hand down, left foot comes to meet your right. Step your right foot back to a high lunge. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine and then an exhale to straighten that front leg and fold. Good, inhale to lengthen the heart forward. Option to drop that back knee down and then exhale to fold. Inhale to pull the heart forward. Exhale to fold. Inhale to pull forward. Exhale to fold. Good, inhale, come forward. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot and reach your left hand towards the sky, maybe finding Vrikshasana tree pose or maybe taking that variation. Knowing that every yogi is different along their physical journey in this practice. We're all different along our physical, our mental, our emotional, our spiritual journey in this practice. Take a deep breath and then exhale that left hand to the floor, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Right foot rises as you inhale. Exhale, right foot steps forward. Good. Turn your toes in. Walk your hands in between your feet. This time, turn your heels in. Good. 
bend your knees. Bring your hands to your inner thighs. And go ahead and sway from side to side. And so we're going to do a little bit of, um, you know, grounding work. <laughs> Reach the hands forward. Good. So you're going to imagine as though you're kind of picking something up. You're going to scoop your hands forward and up. Come all the way up to stand. And then exhale, bring your hands down through your heart. Namastatihi. Reach your hands forward and up. Stand into the thighs as you lift your chest. And then exhale your hands to your heart. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then reverse that. Inhale, straighten your legs, reach your arms up. And then exhale, press the palms out towards the side. And then inhale, gather that energy up. And exhale, press your palms, push the hands out to the side. Good. Karen, shorten your stance just a little bit. Exhale. Nice. And then inhale all the way up. And then exhale, ground that down. Nice. Inhale, come all the way up and hold. And then exhale, just your hands to your heart. Nice. Turn your hips towards the front of your mat and step forward. Good. So we're going to come into another balancing pose. Stand onto your right foot. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Take the peace fingers of your left hand, grab your left big toe. Option to just stay here with that left knee drawing in. If you have more room, begin to straighten that left foot out in front of you. Hug that left sitting bone down. Plant that right inner foot down. Start to open your left foot out to the side. If you have room, maybe reach your right arm out to the sky, to the side to counterbalance. You stay down. Good. Now pause. You're just going to release your toes here. Cross the left foot over the right thigh. Reach your arms up to the sky and bend your right knee into a funky chair. Flexing your right ankle, rolling the right inner thigh down, lift the low belly in and up, and then come to stand, hands to heart center. Samastatihi. Reestablish your roots, draw the right knee in towards your chest, and then choose. Either keep that right knee hugging in, working on the balance, the structure in the left side of the body, or take the peace fingers of your hand, grab your right big toe, and strengthen that right leg forward. Use that left hand as a reminder to hug that left hip in. Maybe start to open your right foot towards the side and extend that left foot out. So this is Ardha Chandrasana standing on one leg. This is Tri Konasana standing on one leg. Starting to notice the similarities and the shapes in this practice, similar to how we notice those similarities that reoccur in our lives watching the patterns. Good. Take a breath. Good. Release the right big toe. Cross your right foot over your left thigh. Open that knee like the number four, and then bend your left knee and come into that funky chair. Flex your right ankle. Protect that right knee. Lift the low belly in and up. Scoop the frontal hip bones. And then come to stand, hands to heart. Samastatihi. Nice. Come up balancing onto your toes. And reach your arms up to the sky. And then start to notice how the distribution, the change in weight, changes the structure of this pose. Take a deep breath in. Good. And then exhale. You're just going to start to bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Good until your sitting bones find your heels. Nice, open your knees out wide, place your hands down on the floor, and start to walk the hands forward, and drop the head down. Come back up onto your hands. You're going to plant your hands down on the floor. Draw your knees into your triceps and start to lift the hips. 
setting up for Bakasana Crow Pose, float forward into your palms, maybe lift one or both feet up off the floor, reach your heart forward and feel Mula Bandha, pelvic floor draw in and up. Keep breathing. Take a deep breath in through your nose and step or lightly hop back, Chaturanga. Nice. Inhale. Exhale. And if that jump back doesn't work for you, step back to plank pose, step back to down dog, do whatever your body needs in your practice today. Hmm. Lower your knees down to the ground. Cross your ankles. Find Navasana. Boat pose. So many ways to take boat. Hands back by your hips, knees bent, ankles flexed, or the fullest expression, hands forward, legs straight. Just five breaths. Feel that belly work. Notice your breath. See if you can smooth the inhales with the exhales, coming back into that ujjayi ocean sounding breath. Uddiyana Bandha is your second Bandha. It's your belly lock. Pull that belly back. The third one is your Jalandhara Bandha. Drop your chin slightly. Extend the back of your neck. Good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, cross your ankles. Plant your forearms down on the ground. Step back into plank pose on your forearms. Forearms are parallel. Inner palms are heavy. Zipper up the inner thighs. Start to walk your feet towards your toes. Feel the triceps wrap back, the shoulders melt. It's going to feel like up your back. It's actually down, but towards the ceiling. Take one more deep breath. And then exhale, lower your knees down to the floor, child's pose. Go ahead and sit back up on your heels, cross your shins, roll onto your backs. I'm going to set up for bridge pose. Plant your feet down on the floor, hips within distance. Bring your hands back alongside your hips. Take an inhale, and then exhale, stand into the feet and start to lift the hips up. Inner thighs roll down. Feel the feet firm down into the floor. Feel your hamstrings engage. Find a soft interlace of your hands. Roll the outer edges of your arms down and see if you can breathe into your chest and lengthen out your lower back by drawing your tailbone towards your kneecaps. Lift the toes here and imagine as though that breath was trailing into your pelvic floor, into the bowl of the pelvis, and then exhaling out through the thighs, down the shins to the soles of your feet, grounding you down. Whenever we start to feel stressed, we move up into the upper chakras. This helps us to reestablish our foundation, to come back to our breath. Our sense of center lives right here. Take one more deep breath. And then exhale, lower all the way down. One more. Take a deep breath. Good. And then next, exhale, plant your feet down. Start to lift your hips up. Interlace the opposite thumb on top. Roll the shoulders back and down. Feel the thighs engage. Feel the chest expand. Make sure those knees are tracking right over the second and third toe. Yes, Nika. Imagine as though you had a block in between your inner thighs. Hug. Good. Take one more deep breath. And then exhale lower all the way on down. Nice. Cross your right thigh over your left. Good. Open your arms out like the letter T. Scoot your hips a little bit over to the right as you drop your knees to the left and twist. Good. Deep breaths in and out through your nose. Just enjoying this opportunity to unwind the spine and to really decompress onto the floors. So there are so many ways to rebalance this chakra, to eat warm foods, to go for a hike, 
to wear red clothes, to do anything that just really helps you bring, bring yourself back to that sense of stability. And this is what our tribe does for us. This is what our family does for us. This is what our community does for us. It's what gives us this support necessary to really step forward into the higher chakras, into who we are. And draw your knees back to center. Switch the cross of your thighs. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, drop your knees over to the right. Maybe scooch your hips a little to the left. And again, close your eyes. So this practice is one in which we check in. There are a lot of forms of exercise which you can check out. Right? You can let the mind go. And this practice of yoga is an opportunity for you to really come back into your body, to examine, to become aware of where you might be holding on to memories that are no longer serving you, where you can let go, where you can find more space for light and for breath, for love to filter throughout your body from the inside out. Draw your knees back to center. And hug your knees in towards your chest. Take a few rocks forward and back on your mat. And come to a comfortable seat. Good. Until your sitting bones come down into the floor. Good. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees open wide, Baddha so find your sitting bones. Feel that connection of root floor to earth. Take an inhale to lengthen. Good. And then exhale. Start to fold forward over your thighs. Take an inhale to grow the spine tall. And then an exhale to fold. Breathe into your back body. Soften the inner thigh. And inhale, look forward. Come all the way back up. Go ahead and send your feet forward. Go ahead. Roll the inner thighs down. Bring your hands back behind you. Lift your hips, plant your feet, open your chest. Feel that last engagement of your thighs. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, lower the hips back down. Flex your ankles, reach your hands forward and up. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale, grow your spine, and then exhale to fold. Paschimottanasana. Feel the front of the thighs lift here, the back of the body lengthen. Notice any tension around your jaw. And see if you can just empty out through the crown of your head. And take one more deep breath. Inhale, gaze forward. Tuck your chin towards your chest and roll all the way onto your back. One vertebrae at a time. Up your palms to the sky. Let your toes open wide. Take a long, deep breath in through your nose. Biggest inhale you've taken all day. And then exhale, let it go. Take 
Again, to soften the muscles around the face. The eyes gently soften. The tongue releases from the roof of your mouth. The teeth part. The chest expands with your inhale. Now to a natural rhythmic cycle of breath. Let the hips soften, the knees soften, the ankles and toes. Feel yourself sinking down into Mother Earth and allow the energetic body to rise. Stay here for as long as you like, for as long as you need. I hope you enjoy the Muladhara, the root chakra practice. Namaste.